finished your Viking knit you and you've taken the wire back through the ends and tied off all the ends so that they're uh, nice and firm and and closed they're not going to come apart um, and you made sure that it's the right length so this is a perfect length for me it's a little just meets right there so it gives if I want a bracelet that's um, moves a little bit um, I can add a longer clasp I could add a magnetic clasp I think I'm gonna play around with some beads here see so these are some of these large hold beads you often see them on Pandora bracelets these ones are really light they're um, acrylic um, and I was thinking that just doing something simple like this would uh, bling up the bracelet is that the right one yeah okay so let's see sort of put these on top like that so that's one thing you could do and they would move and you can keep it loose enough that you could move them around if you wanted to I'd want to keep them up at the top. Um, not sure I like the white on the inside of that. Other things I have, I have, so I'm going to leave that one on there. I have some of these metal two beads. Well, kind of like that, actually. We did, you could just do something simple like that. We could do two and three. That's a little heavy, I think. Let's see what it would be like. Yeah, they're going to always want to kind of go to the underside of the wrist anyway. So I think I'm going to just make it simple with two. That leaves me two more spacers if I'm going to do another blue one. Now, the reason I'm putting them on now is because. Once I've put the clasp on, the ends are going to be thicker and uh, they won't fit over. So, for example, if I've already put clasps on this particular bracelet, and I, or I've already put ends, excuse me, on the, this particular bracelet, and so there's no way that these would slide over. Let's see if I can just, even though it's the right thickness, probably. It's a little bit thicker than that one. And this, or this necklace. They would certainly fit on the necklace, but they're not going to slide over the clasps. Um, and these are clasps that I was learning how to make. So here's one where it's got, um, oh, the uh, the wrapped end and a bead and then a cover, a copper cover. And these are uh, all hand twisted. They're not, I'm learning to make them, so they're not perfect, but... Uh, don't think you'd notice it once you get a little clasp on there to close it to figure out what to make sometimes you just would have a, a hook as the clasp this is a necklace necklace length and again I put the uh, ends on it these ones are you can see I'm getting better as I practice um, these uh, but they're the sorry these are more consistent, um, they're better, and, but now that they're added on the end, I can't slide these large beads over it if I wanted to add something like that to the necklace. So I'd have to get a different type of clasp or um, something even larger to put on there. Um, the um let me put this off to the side this necklace or this pendant i rescued from a jewelry jar i can't remember what uh was hanging with it i think it was cloth and some beads um so i might go look for some uh valley is it valley i've forgotten the type of style this is um and I, this needs three beads to hang off of it. But I think that uh, with the right, since it's got a little bit of blue and the right coloring and the right color clasp, if I get a sort of a 
an oxidized silver clasp, this is going to make a nice necklace. But I have to have, this has to be able to go through this tube and then the clasp go on later. So this is 20, about, we'll, this will hang at 24 inches when it's done. Here's a bracelet where um, I put the wrapped clasps, but before I put the wrapped clasps, I actually put this bead cap, it's a uh, sort of a petal looking bead cap on, and that covers up the end, and uh, the hematite bead and some little seed beads there. Give it a nice finish, and this one just rolls on. So you can have the bead at the bottom, you can have the bead at the top when you're wearing it. It's a little long through here. I have to learn to make these um, with less wraps. But uh, this is st this Kumi, this Viking knit is so easy to make that um, you can see I have this. <laughs> this is just a few of the pieces that I've made over time and my grandkids love doing it. So um, of lots of pieces to uh, turn into jewelry. Here's another pendant 